Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what is my favorite sim. And I decided I want to make this into a multi-part series. So I'm going to break these down into different lists and then have a conclusion video. So the first one I wanted to do is what are my favorite sims in terms of physics and vehicle dynamics? What I mean by that is it's not just the way the cars behave in terms of through the wheel. It's also the way that they behave on the track and also how closely they relate to real life vehicles. So can you stall the cars? Can you flat spot the tires? Are you going to burn up the tires if you slide too much? So that's what I wanted to look at. And this is my top nine list. I really wanted to find a 10th sim to put in, but I wanted to restrict this to my top nine modern supported racing titles, because these are ones that are currently being supported by developers. They're not ones that are being abandoned for the next title. I'm going to do another series talking about the classic racing titles. So that will be coming in the near future, but I only wanted to handle ones that are being supported right now. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I have to put on my flame suit, I want to start with a disclaimer. These on the list are my opinions. When it comes to these lists, especially with dealing with feelings of the cars, these feelings can be subjective. Your opinion may differ from mine, and that's just fine. We're all here to have fun, so let's have fun. Hopefully, this will point you in a solid direction if you're wondering what sim you'd like to run, but remember, you can run any title that you want. So without further ado, let's get started. At number 9, Gran Turismo Sport brings up the bottom of the list, but that's not to say that's a horrible title. There are still elements of it that feel quite solid, however, I believe that Gran Turismo has found itself stuck in the past, so to speak. The simulation of vehicle dynamics in Gran Turismo Sport are subpar, with car mechanics such as the clutch and handbrake still being perceived as a button, even if you use a real handbrake and clutch pedal. That's something that is really quite frustrating, especially for a title that has allowed the use of a clutch pedal ever since the PS2 days and still doesn't have proper clutch implementation. Actually, driving the cars is alright, but it's hindered by the assists that really hurt it. But at the same time, it almost feels like you need to turn on the assist to be able to drive properly. With the assist turns off, it feels way too easy to lock up the brakes and also to spin the tires. The assists don't feel that authentic either. Traction control with the Volkswagen GTI and GT Sport feels totally different than in my real life GTI and is also totally different compared to other titles. Gran Turismo was one of the only titles that, in my opinion, felt totally different than any other title, and not exactly for the better. At number 8 on the list, Forza Motorsport 7 slightly gets the edge over GT Sport in regards to simulation of vehicle dynamics and car behavior. The cars feel that slight bit livelier, that slight bit more authentic. Unlike Gran Turismo Sport, the clutch and handbrake feel a lot closer to reality as well. However, it really does lag behind the other titles as well, and that's why I couldn't rank it higher on the list. I didn't get a good feeling of the cars being on the edge. I didn't get a good feeling of the tire's grip levels and what the car was doing. The car seemed way too easy crossing that threshold, and I was none the wiser through the wheel. Another complaint I have is that the cars seem to be wildly hit or miss, with some cars feeling quite solid, some cars are just insane to drive. Testing out most GT3 race cars, it feels surprisingly solid and controllable. However, in the KTM Crossbow shown in this video, it was very difficult to handle, which sort of goes against the car's real-world nature. Forza 7 is a competent racing title, but itself, as well as GT Sport, also lacks some of the features that modern-day titles have, such as dynamic track wear with flat spotting, dynamic track buildup, and other features which hold them back. While both of these titles have evolved over their predecessors, there are still elements that clearly hold them back to the bottom of the list. Codemasters F1 2017 takes number 7 on the list. Codemasters has done a surprisingly solid job with F1 2017, really fleshing out the experience of simulating the life of an F1 driver. However, the simulation of the driving leaves a bit to be desired. Similar to Forza 7, there isn't much feeling through the tires, 
and I didn't have much of a feel when the car's at the edge. The car seems surprisingly easy to drive, even with all the assists off. All in all, F1 2017 is a solid game for F1 fans, but for people looking to simulate driving a 2017 F1 car, I'd recommend Assetto Corsa's Formula Hybrid mod. Now we've made it out of the bottom three titles, and let's start going to the heavy hitters. While the bottom three are primarily console titles with a potential PC port, now we're getting to the titles that are built specifically with PC sim racers in mind. Here are our top six. In sixth place, I've put Race Room Racing Experience. Race Room is a surprisingly well-rounded racing title and actually feels surprisingly solid behind the wheel. However, when it comes down to the vehicle dynamics and how the car interacts with the track, that's when it starts to suffer. Race Room Racing Experience utilizes ISI Motor 2 physics, and while it's a solid physics engine, it lacks features such as flat spotting, tracks rubbering in, and I find it fairly difficult to get a feeling of the rear of the car, which was a common trait in older ISI Motor titles. Race Room has really come into its own in the past couple years and is a very solid title, but it being built on an aging physics engine has admittedly hindered it. Squeaking its way into our top 5 is Automobilista. This was admittedly a tough choice because I see Automobilista as one of the best bang for the buck simulation titles on the market. However, I had to dock it due to similar reasons I put Race Room Racing Experience at spot number 6. AMS runs on a heavily modified version of the ISI Motor 2 physics model, and while it does have features such as flat spotting, tire buildup, and tracks rubbering in, it's not as dynamic as some of the newer engine titles. Similar to R3E, I also encountered the same issue regarding the lack of feeling in the back of the car. Now don't get me wrong, AMS, excellent title, I love it, I love all the cars, great sounds, but in terms of the physics and vehicle dynamics, it's just lacking behind the other titles. In fourth place, we have iRacing. iRacing has evolved quite a bit since it was first released in 2008 and is a great multifaceted racing simulator. It has remarkable systems in place to be able to simulate a track rubbering in and even the track groove shifting on a dirt oval, which is remarkable. However, the physics of the cars just sort of leave me wanting. Tires seem to behave rather strangely in iRacing in regards to temperatures, performance, and flat spawning. Vehicle dynamics is the mixed bag in iRacing as well. For example, stalling a car is not simulated. iRacing is a great racing simulator within a great online community, but in terms of simulating the vehicles itself, it's just a couple steps behind the top racing sims. Taking the third place was a bit of a surprise, and that's Project Cars 2. If I had placed the first Project Cars in the running, I would have put it slightly above F1 2017 and slightly below Race Room. However, SMS has done a remarkable job improving the dynamics of the vehicles and how it interacts with the track. The cars give a solid idea of grip in the tires, it simulates both mechanical and physical grip well. It's not perfect. There are still the odd occurrences, but Project Cars 2 is a surprisingly well-rounded title. Flat spotting, tire buildup, tracks rubbering in, dynamic weather and puddles, it's all there. It's made for a great title in terms of the physics. It feels close to reality, it's a solid title, and that's what is great about it. Hopefully some of the minor nitpicky bugs are resolved as the title goes on, but in terms of the physics and vehicle dynamics, it's there. In second place, I've placed Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa is a great racing title with a wide variety of content available at its disposal as well as an active modding community. Cars, for the most part, feel great to drive, especially road and GT cars. The feeling of the tires, you can feel the flex, you can feel the slip, you can catch slides, it's awesome. However, I find that cars that require aerodynamic grips are the ones that generally struggle in a set of Corsa, especially in low speed corners. 
It feels like cars that are very stiff and have stiff suspensions are ones that can have fairly erratic behavior. It doesn't totally detract from the experience, but it's worth mentioning. Also, there are weird elements of vehicle dynamics, for example, not being able to truly stall the car. However, being able to adjust engine boost mapping, hybrid ERS systems, and features such as that give this a great air of realism that really is great. Now, if you guys have been following Sim Racing Paddock, I think you could have seen my number one pick from a mile away, and that's R Factor 2. In terms of vehicle simulation, I feel that it is second to none. The way the cars perform, feeling the slip angle in the tires, having to conserve your car over the course of a run, feeling the changes the track in a race, it's all there. Now, in R Factor 1 and other titles such as Race Room and Automobilista, I mentioned that one of my complaints with the engine was that you didn't have much feeling in the rear of the car. In R Factor 2, they've moved to a new engine, and I can really feel exactly where the rear of the car is going, and I can place it exactly where I want. That leads me to be more confident in my driving, and it's overall a great experience driving these cars. I know that R Factor 2 isn't the most polished title, but when it comes to physics and vehicle dynamics, I think that it's the top of the chart. So, these are my top 9 titles in terms of vehicle dynamics and automobile simulation. I would love to hear your top titles. Also, would you like to see more lists like these? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and you have a great rest of your day.